What's up, Creepers and Geekers, Christy, Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today? This is not a video I planned on making. In fact, I didn't know about this until about 10 minutes ago. And it took me by surprise. A, a while ago, we talked about a costume company called Kooky Spooks, or, well, a brand, I should say, um, of Kooky Spooks. Uh, if, if, if you've never seen those, it's basically, you know, vinyl smock, and then you had this big inflatable friggin' hat thing that you had to put on, and it was uncomfortable as hell, and it made your neck hurt by the end of the night, and then they put this grease paint all over you, in my case, it was this big green goblin guy, and I had the green paint all over me, uh, I can still smell it to this day, it was disgusting, and I hate goop on me, I friggin' hate it, but regardless, Ben Cooper, Ben Cooper costumes don't need an introduction to anyone, at least in part of my generation or some of the older millennials. Ben Cooper was a staple, $3.99 to $5 for a costume, you know. Even in 80s money, that wasn't bad at all. Simple box, a simple mask, and a lot of fucking really good memories. So there's a documentary coming out about Ben Cooper, and you know what? They're going to answer all the questions. Who is Ben Cooper? What is Ben Cooper all about? What is he all about? And why does he hate children's eyeballs so much? <laughs> if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. But in all honesty, let's watch this trailer. Let's watch this. And just to let you know, as of the recording, it is September 23rd of 2024. I'm going to release this October 1st. So if any changes happen between now and then, or maybe I even review it, <laughs> we will alter things and I will obviously make this available, what have you. But I'm going to schedule it for October 1st, so whatever. Let's watch it. I'm excited. I can't wait. Let me turn it down a little bit from my... There they are. My favorites were Darth Vader and E.T. Oh, man, come on. My grandfather, Ben Cooper, created a niche a in the niche. comedy industry that wasn't there. Right? It's a mind-blowing experience. And you know what was great about these things is they were simple. You had a mask that represented something. Or, or yeah, at least the look of the character, and they did their best. Pac-Man was a really great example of how they just kind of went with it. It's just like a smock with a picture of the brand on it. I just was engulfed in it. I just, it just sent me back. Wow. We're talking about machines that would take up a city block. Wow, we look at all of those. In jumping after the licensing aspect. Absolutely. I mean, that's the only way you could really go with it, right? They are probably the most recognizable characters. That dude in the right's creepy. Spanning generations. Yeah. Batman was highly famous and highly, like when you use the term, contagious. That people wanted to Bow, go. pow. It was the, the, the weekly, you know, same back time, same back channel. Yeah. Here we go. The first three, right? Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, and yeah. Actually, I think Princess Leia came out too with it. That was, I had that costume in. I used to wear it all year round at home. I hung the mask up in my room. And ran with the war. Darth Vader was my boy. <clears throat> I have the power! Dude, the Skeletor. The Skeletor mask from this is... I would love to have one. Again, just for a wall decoration. Look at that. Tell me that's not amazing. Yeah, I bet there were more Skeletors than he made. That Ben Cooper really knows or has an idea... And he was Captain Kirk. I mean, w w without him, the Antichrist crashed. Yeah? Wow. It's not too often the creep gets to use a word like wonderful. 
Man, I'm getting all the fucking feels, for real. That that was wonderful. I can't wait to see this documentary. I, I'm going to look into it and see, you know, for all I know, it's already out. According to this video, it was uploaded, oh, two days ago. So I don't know who this, this company is, but I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this one, and I hope you do too. Let me know. Let me know a couple things. One, what do you think? Don't Google it. What do you think was the very first Ben Cooper costume? The way we see it there with the vacuum floor mask and the, uh, and probably at the time that flammable vinyl cape <laughs> or smock, I should say. Um, what was your favorite? What was your favorite? And if you don't have memories of these, let me know what you think of them. Look them up. You know, look up a whole bunch of ones, maybe licenses or, you know, properties that you like. He Man, and Star Wars, and the like. Everybody had one. Everybody, like I said, even like, uh, I think Space Invaders had one. Or Asteroids had one. Oh my god, look up the Asteroids one. I think, if I remember correctly, you were like a brown and purple, like it was an asteroid you put over your face. It was the stupidest looking thing ever. But alright, I'm going to tear up here, guys. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down. It's all positive to me. The Alzheimer's walk. Come on, man. Come on, link down below. Get me up to a grand. Get me up to a grand. We're giving away a really rad joystick. A really rad arcade stick. Little little job. You know, USB. It's also made for the PS2. But it's rad. I have one personally, the same one, and I use it in here. And I like it. So guys, get me up to a thousand dollars. And until next time, I hope you're all doing well. Wow, I almost forgot what I had to say there. Take care, creep it real. And bye-bye. And happy spooky season.